dynamic is that it does reach the highest, fastest speeds compared to the electromagnetic. Um, this is so superconductors can create that current really fast and just once it gets past that 50 miles an hour, which it must use those wheels for, it gets up there. And it can carry very heavy loads. So that's a pro. And then like I was saying with the wheels, that's a con just to kind of get it up to that 50 miles an hour. And then also the cooling the coils can get quite expensive. So that is one thing to think about too when you're trying to decide, you know, what company you'd rather go with in your cities, which one you'd rather, you know, use more than the other. Now, in talking with some advantages overall for the maglev train is that it's most definitely cheaper. Now, it is on the ground, so it would be cheaper than taking a plane. You know, if there's, there's plans for one to be from California to Nevada, so of course jumping in that train would be a lot cheaper and not only less tightly packed, but going that route. Not only that, but because it does use electromagnetics, it does not use fossil fuel. So not only does that save from just typical pollution, and then also it is less has less noise pollution just because of the quietness with the electromagnetics. And it's just nothing crazy like slamming a brake and hearing the screeching and those frictions caused by the other trains because with these, there is no friction whatsoever. Some obstacles we have with the maglev trains is that the it's an expensive startup. To construct everything and get the whole process up and running, you need groundwork to be laid down. All of that is a huge obstacle. Not only that, but the geography involved. That is one of the main reasons why they haven't talked about putting, or they haven't gone into all diagrams and blueprints of putting on in the United States is just because it goes from plains one area to mountains to the next. And then not only that, but the electric magnetic field concerns do pop up here and there. One thing, the earth is an electromagnetic itself, but having that, people are kind of questioning all of that. Now, we do have countries that already have these trains kind of going into motion. Um, we do have Spain, and that one is one that actually carries and is definitely working 404 passengers. And then, you know, Germany, France, Japan, and China are all in their experimental phases of their trains. So that is definitely something, you know, this is up and running, and it is definitely the way of the future for a lot of people in just about our whole world. And this, you should see this coming back in the 20 years. Thank you very much, and here are my resources.